Hi, Aquarius. Welcome. This is a bonus. I think it's a bonus. Tarot reading for Aquarius. All right, midweek here. So this is what I was picking up. You're waiting to hear from somebody, okay? You've been really calm, kind of trying to chill out. I feel like you've been trying to chill out, like on purpose, okay? Something was bothering you, and you're kind of protecting your energy here. I feel like you've been waiting to hear from someone. Someone's been waiting to hear from you, okay? This person is reaching out. You're going to be hearing from them. I feel like they're going to tell you something you need to know. It's, it's information you wanted to know that you've been waiting to hear about. And it's going to change your mind about a situation or it's going to give you the confirmation you needed. All right. What's coming in for Aquarius? I feel like it's going to give you a lot of clarity. Okay. Prey and seduction. Hmm. What are you doing here? Aquarius. What's this about? Yeah, okay. So there's something really touch and go is what I'm picking up on. I feel like you touched bases with somebody or you did and then it was like oh, gone away or the person went away somewhere. Now it's like some strange energy between you and this person. It feels like static. It's almost like you can't get a message through. It's hard to contact, hard to communicate. It feels like static. Okay, so something is static between you and someone. So maybe that means that something is stagnant, right? When something is static. This feels like there's a huge desire to want to connect with this person. So now people are, have been resorting to watch one another. So you guys are watching one another but not communicating so far. This could be the person you're hearing from. So you have prey. It's uh, stalked, invaded, and watched. Mm. You tell me, is that you or is that them, Aquarius? <laughs> Let's see. The bottom of the deck, we're looking at seduction, allure, desire, and manipulation. Yeah. So I feel like there's a lot of game playing going on with this situation. From what I'm getting right now, it feels like because of the lack of clarity, people are trying to tweak the energy so that it goes in certain ways. Yeah, we got Vine. Okay, I'll tell you in a second. Younger woman. Okay, someone could be younger here. Did you get this last time, the diamond card? I, I did a bonus for you. Just a couple weeks ago, I think. Okay, sunrise, new creative ideas, new ventures, and a fresh start. Okay, so there's a fresh start on hand here, Aquarius. Something is starting new. I want to see what's behind that. A lion, time to act. Yeah, something is moving now. Something that was stagnant is moving. There's a brand new beginning happening for you, Aquarius. Okay, so we have vine. Seek out information that will help you. I feel like that's what this needs. Someone needs information. I feel like I just said, I feel like you're going to be receiving that information that you need, that confirmation you need. So you can make up your mind. You can have clarity about which way you're going or where you're headed here. So we have younger woman dealing with a relationship with a younger woman. There could be an age difference, okay, between you and someone. We have diamond. You'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. Yeah, there could be an actual gift involved, but I'm also primarily getting the information is what you need, okay? So it's like, oh, finally, I have that understanding here. So let's see. The gift is also a new beginning for you, so you can actually start moving and stop having to feel like everything has just been so la-di-da, blase all the time. Let's see what's going on for Aquarius. Something needs to... Maybe it's you. You need some movement. Yeah, there's the movement. Perfect. <laughs> That's the movement. All right. So you have Knight of Wands here. Aquarius, please. The Page of Cups. Nine of Swords. Is that the static? Yeah, there's... Okay, so this is what this is. It feels like... There's a lot of concern about something that needs to start moving, okay? Um, 
has to do with the connection here. It's like, I really wish this could move forward. I, I wish something could change or there could be a certain way that we're moving and that we can decide upon it and actually go that way. But I feel like instead, it's kind of been stressful here, okay? Deciding which way to go, deciding what to do. But I feel like this is changing. This stress is no longer going to be there. I feel like you're gonna feel really relieved that you actually have some clarity that you know which way you're headed now. So there's a road that was blocked, but now there's an opening. I don't know that it was the same road though. It feels like maybe you've pivoted, you're going in a different direction. The first way that you were going was blocked multiple times, and now an avenue is clearing for you. You're seeing things with fresh eyes here, Aquarius, okay? I feel like you're getting that clarity. Again, I'm getting, yeah, okay, Six of Swords. So you, you detached from a situation that there was some amount of imbalance because someone was refusing to cooperate here with you is what it seems like. And because of that, you kind of realized you were overextending yourself. So you went off into the distance and you were kind of just waiting to see what would happen is what I was picking up here. Okay. Like, is there, are they going to actually do something or should I do something is what I feel like you were questioning here. All right. What's coming next for Aquarius with this energy? So someone's giving you an answer. For Aquarius, please. One second. Okay. Knight of Pentacles, the Three of Cups, and the Knight of Swords. Yeah. Okay. So this person... I'm picking up two people, guys. I'm picking up two people, guys. Okay. Here's the thing. I feel like there could be someone that was interested in you or you were interested in someone, but it turned out to be fleeting. This could be a Sagittarius. It doesn't have to be. There was someone here that was kind of distracting you or you were, you were distracting them in some sense here. Okay. Especially distracting you from the person that you actually want to be communicating with, actually want to be building with Aquarius. I feel like this cancer, this Gemini energy is coming back in to communicate with you. This is the person that's bringing the information to you that you're going to be happy about or relieved. I'm getting more relief. It's almost like, oh, okay, I understand now. So you're going to be gaining understanding here. There's information this person is telling you, okay? Someone is trying to come in to communicate something that you need to know here. And there's a reunion Empress energy. Wow, Ace of Wands. Okay, I don't know why I'm getting this. Um, I feel like there's certain communications or accusations here about someone like getting around or like you're so attractive, you must have other people coming after you. I feel like this comes up somehow. All right. Yeah, you have a reconciliation here. There's a reconciliation. All right, guys, let's get you. I don't know. I feel like this is getting messy or it was getting messy here, Aquarius. Okay. There. <laughs> I feel like this clarity is going to be really helpful. Okay. You may feel like someone is stuck on you. It feels, I don't know. It came up with that devil card energy and the, and the death card back here. It's like a very unhealthy type of regrets and remorse and dynamic back there, Aquarius. OK, 
okay? But there's a new energy here coming in for you. It's a new beginning, but you have to be able to let go of the past, Aquarius. Or someone does. All right, let's see. That's like a big question here for some reason. Aquarius, please. Ooh, don't give up. So bottom of the deck, the patroness of impossible causes. Oh, I am miraculous. My prayers create powerful channels of possibility. Yeah, um, Aquarius, I feel like this is the thing. You may have wanted this message here, but it kind of inadvertently causes some sort of pickle or it puts you in a position to have to choose or decide something now. Okay, I feel like you really wanted to hear from somebody. You really wanted information. You need that clarity from them, right? About a situation. And now you have the opportunity to decide something. Kind of is what I'm getting here. So try to keep your thoughts in a good place. I feel like you have to fight any, um, fight off. Like I'm saying fight because of the warrior saint here. Fight off any like negative thoughts or negative patterns. I'm getting like thought forms. Maybe this is someone rubbing off on you, Aquarius. I feel like someone's causing you, I don't know, it feels like transference. Like someone's transferring some sort of that static. There it is. Okay. Like, oh, okay. So you know like that static sound when you click a walkie-talkie or um, I don't know, back in the day, phone lines would always be crackly or something like that, like staticky. So your connection is bad. That's what that's what's happening with someone. Okay, hopefully this news is gonna clear things up for you. You have the warrior saint. I am a warrior of love. My devotion attracts resources and support. Yeah. Okay, so someone wants to come and fight for you now. They're trying to come in and fight for you. Could be because they feel you kind of going somewhere else. That's what I'm getting. Love you so very much, Aquarius. Feel free to check your other placements for more or different information here on the playlist, okay? Like Sun, Moon, Rising, sometimes Venus, North Node can be helpful. Um, your friends, family members, neighbors, coworkers, placements, Peep and Tom, Peep and Tom, check their placements too so we know what they're up to. Kisses. I love you. Bye.